a new light from Ace Beam. I don't know what they were thinking when they made this. But I sure am happy they designed this light. Look at this thing. That's a thrower. Man, is this thing a little rocket. This is the Ace Beam E10. We're going to talk about it a little bit, and then we're going to get us some beam shots of it, show you what this thing is made of. Before I get too far into the flashlight itself, I want to show you the specs on this thing. This is the white Osram emitter. you got a choice of a white, red, and green. And the white emitter, you're running a turbo, the max of 760 lumens, and it'll run for an hour and 30 minutes on the turbo, and it will punch out to 562 meters of throw. And then the high, you're running for 2 hours and 45 minutes, and it'll still punch out to 383, it's saying. And you got a mid-range with even a lot longer run time, over 6 hours and 45 minutes. Wait till you see the battery. And then your low, 45 hours. Moonlight, 1 lumen for 1,850 hours of run time. And that still goes out to 13 meters of throw. Basic UI. You got Ace Beam's Wicked Warranty with it, the user manual, spare set of o-rings, and then a charging cord, micro USB for the battery. Battery is a 2000 milliamp hour ACR 26350 battery. 7.4 watt hours. It is a little fat thing. I've never had one of these yet. This is the first time. And it does have a charging port right there with a red and green light on top. Green meaning it's charged. And all fits nice and snug. This reflector on here, I just can't get over. And that's one thing that you're going to see outside that produces that real tight beam. Not sure what they're doing there, but it looks like the LED is up higher. And then you got a little, either a convex or concave mirror, shine it back down into the reflector. But it does a great job. Very focused tight beam as you can see right there it's only got three normal modes a turbo and then a moonlight if you long press it you get your moonlight look at that pretty cool huh turn it on you got low mode hold it medium hold it high you double click you're in the turbo you triple click you're in the strobe and it does have memory and I've done a lot of testing outside on this. I used my uh, temp gun, my lux meter, and that surprised the living heck out of me, which you'll see there. Uh, rated throw 562 meters. Let's just say it did better than that. This little light is unreal. I really like it. You're going to see what I'm talking about once we get out. In fact, you know what? Let's just get out there right now and let's get rolling. <laughs> All right, I got my Lux meter four meters away, and we're going to shine this ace beam at it and calculate the throw. We're looking to hopefully get 532 meters of throw, as I think is what the uh, spec said, out of 1,050 lumens. So let's see what happens. Low mode. Turbo. Check it out. All right, that was 7,350 lux times 4 meters squared is 16, divided by the brightness of the moon, 0.25 lux, gives us 470,400 square root of that. Why is that thing going so high? I had to uh, retook the test because I got almost 700 meters the first time. Now it's 685. That is weird. Normally it's not that far off, and this is uh, a plus being that far off. You're over 100 meters farther ahead. We're going to do some beam shots, and we'll be able to tell there. But my gosh, 685 meters of throw. Well, I'm going with it. All right, it's pretty much dark now, real close to it anyhow, and I'm going to get rolling on this. I had done a video footage last night, and my audio wasn't plugged all the way in, and it was just horrendously loud. So what we're doing here is I'm going to take an unknown 
named flashlight. I know the name, but I do know this shoots out to 554 meters of throw. I tested it out, I actually shot out pushing 600. And I'm gonna shine that on turbo down to a tree at 94 meters. And it just still boggles my mind that that light sh shot over 600 on my test. But this no-name brand that rated at 554 meters is right here shining at a tree at 94 meters away. Unnamed brand flashlight, 94 meters. And there's the ace beam. A very tight beam, but you notice how bright that is. Ace beam. 94 meters and an unnamed brand flashlight 94 meters that I know is punching out pushing 600. I just saw something down in a field walking them are all deer down there and one two three four this thing does an incredible job that's turbo I can turn it down to high And you can still see them plenty good. That's about 180 to 90 meters out. There's turbo. Pretty cool, huh? Well, they're going, they're running. This light is wicked. Now, if we were to take this light a little bit further back, there's some more deer. Look at that. That's almost 300 meters back there. I do believe them are deer. Yeah, they're deer. It's a little tiny light, upwards of about, probably about 260, 70 meters right there. Look at that. You can see them deer plain as day. Is that awesome or what? Now one thing I'm gonna do right away before other tests is we're gonna turn, keep this light on and I'm gonna keep the video rolling or start it over and I'm gonna do a test what I did before and I haven't even charged the battery back up again is see if this thing dims down on turbo so let me get it set up I've already had it on for a good minute and it has not dropped down yet I'm gonna let this sit here for about five minutes and we're gonna see if the battery drops down like I said I already done this last night I've had the light on for probably a good 30 minutes already Without charging it. All right, it's already been three minutes. Now I did this last night for actually or the other video. I'm doing the temp again. I don't even get upwards of 94 degrees tops coming out of this, and I don't see any reason to go any farther with that test. It doesn't seem to drop down. I'm gonna double click it, turn it. This is after it's been on for now for actually. It's been pushing five minutes again because I had it on for a minute before I run the camera, turn the camera on, and it don't drop down. So that's pretty awesome. Battery life on it seems exceptionally good, even on turbo. So now, man, this thing just punches out there. Look at that. What I like about it is, even if you have wanted a spare battery, spare your battery life, I'm on turbo right now. That's high, I and mean, you got an exceptionally long runtime on high. I really like this uh, little short fat battery in this thing. What is it, a 16340 or 18340? There's the deer in there. Boy, was I off, 26350, awesome battery. I guess it's probably got about the same amount of, look at all the deer in there. The lights just lighting the woods up with their eyes. Pretty awesome. One thing I wanna show you that I did last night, that farm, is about 700 meters out. Them hay bales lined up, look at that, it's hitting that just beautiful. Now it's turbo. <laughs> look at that. That's a long haul away. I don't want to shine too much, but that barn, look at the lights. Reflects off there. I'm gonna go down the road and drive back, point back at about 500 meters out Back there, that tree line is pushing 500 meters right there. And shine the flashlight back at the camera. Just show you how bright this thing is. Get the camera set up.
Now there's not a lot more to do with this shining of this light. Incredible battery life and this thing punches to no end. It is an even closer range. That's the low mode. And that tree right there is 62 meters away and you can see that thing quite easily even on low. Medium and high. No frills, just good shining flashlight, good thrower, hard to beat. That's the Ace Beam E10. Told you this is a wicked light. I really like this thing. It's awesome. Small, decent, normal UI. Doesn't get hot, real long battery life, long throw. And did I say it was small? I mean, look at this thing. The Ace Beam does it again. This is awesome. I got to get the green emitter just to see. Check that out. New thinking on light. And light where you want it. Ace beam. There you go. Till the next time.